Hello, my darling Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desaluvold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, you are so very welcome indeed. Are we living and are we loving, my darlings? This fabulous wig, it's a long center part wig. It is by OPV Beauty. OPV Beauty made this especially for me. And I am living, my darlings. And I am absolutely loving i decided to wear a turban today it's just so cold it really is so cold and i decided to wear it with my turban just give you some kind of i don't know of festivities does it look fabulous are we living and loving when i tell you that i would go out like this and go and buy groceries you know just to be fabulous that one time <laughs> yes my darlings i'll put all the details for you also for this fabulous turban which was made exclusively for me i am living and loving and this is opv beauty opv beauty housed and hosted my meet and greet in london my first meet and greet that i ever had it was hosted by opv beauty they are just amazing and i just love you guys anyway we are here about quite a serious matter and when things you know come up like that i say to myself for me be colorful be fabulous because it's so dark um this came from puff tv and i wanted i am actually going to read it for you da, 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 da. okay so where are we okay Cassie told her lawyers that she was pregnant at least seven different times and was forced to have terminations. And even though she never wanted kids with Didi or anyone else that she was forced to be intimate with, it's been echoed that Cassie was worried about her ability to conceive later on in life because she always wanted to get married and have kids. She thought that having so many terminations that it would somehow affect her fertility. So she secretly tried to have her eggs frozen in effort to have an IVF done later on. But Didi found out about the appointment and canceled it. Cassie did not want the information leaked into the lawsuit for some reason, according to another lawyer from a different law firm who had direct access to Cassie's information because of the relationship with the law firm. I read this three, four times. Why? Because one of you has sent me a message. And you guys are amazing. Fumination, there's nobody like you. But somebody has sent me a message and he said, Hello, Auntie, how are you today? Please have a look at Tufts News latest video. Did he make Cassie have nine terminations, allegedly? And when she decided to freeze some eggs, he discovered and canceled the appointment. That man, that man is on another level. <sighs> this is why I say that if she indeed was awarded a hundred million dollars, it still does not. It still does not scratch the surface of what this man did to her mentally, of what this man did to her emotionally, and what this man did to her physically. I just cannot wrap my head around the fact that you would want other people to sleep with this one person that you loved. That's the most sacred thing that you could have. Sacred thing that you could have and you share and you destroyed that allegedly but you went on to say i will destroy everything about you and i will destroy everything about your future i have to salute alex fine and i'm going to start saluting cassie I'm going to start saluting Alex because this is bigger than anything. It really is bigger than anything. And um, you sit back and you think, 
what kind of influence, what kind of power does Puffy have onto a doctor, onto his medical license, onto the practice that you can go in and cancel an appointment and it's cancelled? Where did you expect Cassie to go? Because I see it in all of the comments. Why did she stay so long? Why did she shout out this, that, and the other? And yet, look at look at the tribesmen of people that were supporting this man. I never, I never thought that I could say it, but if allegedly this is true, this is monstrous. You will have nothing by me, and I'll make sure you have nothing by nobody. But you see, this God that we serve up above, he is greater than all of us. And I am so very happy that Cassie went on to have two beautiful children back to back to back. Because life has a way of what? Self-correcting. It has a way of self-correcting that, you know, nothing on this earth is above Mother Earth. And on Mother Earth, are mothers whether we have children or not we have the fruit of the womb that is blessed to us that is given to us that is our choice to have children or not to have children it's our gift but my god it's our power it is our what it is our power when i was doing ivf i did ivf the doctor told me, he fabulous, fabulous doctor. He said for me, we as doctors, we are very much um, like your co, like your co-drivers on this journey. There's only so far that we go. And then after that is the divine intervention. He was an older man. He was very, almost 70s. He was almost retiring. He said, I have seen, I've seen it all. Um, I've been doing this for 50 years. And there are so many cases of where we are not able to explain why some women after trying like you fall pregnant at 48. But the womb is intact. It is complete. And that's when we step back and we say, God. So for me, I want you to pray because we can do the IVF, but ultimately it's God. That struck me to my spleen, to my core. It struck me and I believed. I believed it was a sense of release I believed that it was actually true we are soldiers here on this earth but God is the ultimate because he ultimately has given us this gift he didn't give it to a man he gave it to the woman he gave it to us so no matter no matter what Cassie went through and God bless you, Cassie, because life corrected all of those losses for you and gave you these two children. Life corrected all of these men that abused you. We know that for sure. All the diseases, all the infections. And Puffy didn't care about all of that he exposed you to. Life corrected it. But I want to applaud Alex Fine because I know he was the driver, supporter, the carrier of this. Because not all men can do it. Not all men can take it. Not all men can sit and read this. Somehow, God said, I will bring the man to you that will not be able to look past you. I know this feeling because I was 40 when I got married. You can't imagine how many times I heard, you're too old, mama. You're too old. Nobody looking for you. Nobody checking for you. I began to live my life 
the the the, the really uh, I want to find the word I can't find it I really began to live my purpose I be I, I became alive when I married my husband when I married Ula it was it was it was always now it was always and only Ula now I know that's who God sent to me to say go look after her go take care of her water her plant her let her know that I sent you that is how this Alex Fine came to Cassie the irony of it all was that that was her gym instructor but you see how God does it and that's how this Alex Fine came and he said don't worry I got you it's a beautiful thing it's a beautiful thing and the strategy that was used to execute Puffy. He still does not even understand the ramifications of what Cassie did. It was called Checkmate. The most beautiful chess game that I have ever seen. Because she said, I would take from you everything that you consider valuable. We don't even have to go to court. I'm just going to say one or two things up right here in this social media streets. Social media that has never been social media that it is today. That's how I'm going to take you down. I said, wow, oh wow, oh wow, wow, oh wow, wow. That right there is a beast in itself. And for all the guys and all the boys and all the men and everybody that knew about this, trust me, they're shaking. It's one thing that nobody's coming out to come and stand up for Puff Puff. But it's another thing that they're calling him. They're like, Mafaka, listen to me. Don't you holler my name. Don't you call out my name. This is all on you, Puffy. You're going to go down by yourself. Don't call my name because they didn't call me. And you know what? Let's talk like this. Trust me when I tell you that Puffy is having all kinds of meetings. He's having meetings in the hood. He's having board meetings. He's having telephone meetings. All kinds of meetings because this right here is a network. It's a network that went on for years. And wait. The sex workers are coming. You think they're not going to come? Oh, God, darling, when I tell you. <laughs> they are coming. I already know Lifetime TV is looking now to do a biopic on the greatest fall of all time of the 20th century in hip-hop. So, darlings, I'm going to be up here in these social media, YouTube streets, and I'm going to be giving you Diddy for the next couple of days because we have to unpack all of this for the monstrosity of what was going on in modern day slavery. That's the way I look at it. That's the way that I look at this. It's unbelievable, but it was right there in front of our eyes. So do not forget to like, to subscribe, to hit the notification button, my darlings. And I will see you what? I'll see you sooner than later. All of my love. <laughs>